think the, the, the romanticism with the Wild West was my dad's fault. You know, we grew up grew up watching Western movies and Laurel and Hardy's and stuff. So even that, have you seen Way Out West? That's my favorite movie. It's the best movie, one of the best movies ever made. Especially the bar scene where they're dancing, that bit. So I've always been, you know what I mean? I always loved the idea of like the American West. But growing up in Liverpool, my exposure to it was, it was through my father. And then when I moved out there and I started hunting out in Colorado and Arizona off horse and mule back and stuff, and I got to see just how beautiful the country is. And a lot of it, a lot of it you can't see from those major highways. Even if you see like Monument Valley off the road, you're like, oh, it's beautiful. You get into some of the back country, there's, there's much more beautiful stuff than that. And there's nobody around. There's a canyon just outside of Sedona. It's 2,000 foot deep. It's called Sycamore Canyon. It's only accessible by one road in the summer because in the winter it's too deep in snow because of the elevation. And there's only one road to the edge of it. And it's more beautiful than the Grand Canyon. And no one even knows, no one even has ever even heard about it. So little things like that kind of just keep me interested in it. It's, there's a lot to see, you know, and you know, I'm always that guy that wants to know what's around in the next corner, whether I'm in a city or whether I'm out in the hills. I want to know what's what's over there, so that, so that if I ever end up there, I'll have a point of reference and be able to get dig myself out. You know, I've met a lot of people in the last like bunch of years, whether it's do, through doing like skateboard graphics or stuff for vans or Vulcan, or people that really creative people that make all this cool stuff, and they haven't been had a place to house that. And so I'm doing it now, you know, so we're making coffee and axes and, and knives and none of it is just logo done out. I'm trying to give it a little bit more meaning, a little more creativity to the process of putting product out there. But that's kind of really why it's set up as a creative outlet to house product that I've always wanted to make. You know, the knife is actually a curvy waved blade and it serves a full full purpose you know and, and it's not out there but it, the point of it is a dagger point and the top side of the blade is a fake blade and the bottom side of it is normal edge blade but with a slightly longer edge which makes it easier to sharpen yourself and also makes for an even strong an even sharper point um, but there's a slight curve on the whole blade um, so that when you're doing detailed work you can use your index finger like this on the tip of the knife and it has a place to house your finger so you get resistance and same with your thumb. When you're doing heavy hard work, you always need somewhere to rest your thumb to push to get torque, you know, get some strength behind it. So both of those ridges serve a purpose. The bottom side of the blade serves the same kind of purpose where the front goes in because it has a dagger point. So it goes into something. As you pull out, it immediately cuts and it doesn't cut a straight line. So the wound is not going to close up perfectly and heal as easy. So something's going to bleed more. So for self-defense, it's uh, it actually serves a serious purpose. It serves a serious purpose. You know, and even the axes we make, which are co-branded, um, they're painted, but they're painted with carbon metallic paints and orange stains that actually reflect light. So if you're camping and you in the dark, and most of the time when you when you build the fires out and you're camping, and you're chopping with wood put your axe down and you move away you can't see anything and when you're sitting around a fire as soon as you move away you can't see anything so if you shine a flashlight around the campsite that it'll reflect the light real simple real simple but so everything that we're making has kind of got a purpose you know little kind of practical thing that I've noticed is missing out of a lot of stuff that's basically it